So a perfect start to the season for Chelsea and for Tottenham Hotspur as well. A 1-0 victory against Wolves means that it's two wins out of two. Deli Alley uh, with the only goal in this game that would come early on in the match. Harry Kane travelled with the side, didn't start. Came on in the second half, had an opportunity actually uh, to add to Spurs' lead. Uh, Gab Marcotti, what's the latest on Mr. Kane? I think it's pretty much as you were, and I think things are going to go down. I think they're going to go down to the wire. Uh, I think it's, it's not lost on anybody that Sergio Aguero is no longer uh, a Manchester City player. Unless, of course, he comes back because, of course, he hasn't actually been registered by Barcelona yet. So, you know, leave the door open for that one. Maybe he's Pep's ultimate plan B, but um, City's bid has been, has been rebuffed. Uh, whether that means that they're going to come back with, with the big bid that Daniel Levy, you know, isn't going to say no to or not, I think it all remains to be seen. I think, you know, from Spurs' perspective, though, there's a growing conviction that, you know, you know our price. You know the price, even though we officially say he's not for sale. What are you waiting for? Why are the days passing? You know, what's going on behind the scenes? Mm. Come in with another bid. Presumably you have everything squared away with Kane. And so I think they're getting a little more confident that, or, or maybe I should say, maybe if it's false courage, maybe fearful that City might not come back with another bid. Um, I think that needs to be weighed up uh, as well as a possibility because... As we said, if it's going to be 150 million pounds, that is an enormous amount of money to pay for somebody of Harry Kane's age, mm. particularly when yeah. people like Kylian Mbappe and Erling Haaland are going to be are going to come on the market next year. Just from a performance point of view, results point of view, two wins out of two with all the yeah. hoo-ha, all the faff, all the Harry Kane. From a first perspective, hey, look, at least we're getting the job done. We're winning matches. Without question. And, and make no mistake about it, despite uh, Wolves' own start to the season, two losses for them, this is a very good Wolves side. And, and, and they showed it on the day. Yet, yeah, despite all the distractions around White Hart Lane and around Harry Kane, you get the job done. And, and you call on different people to get that job done in, in the two games you, you've played so far in, in Son and Ali. And if you're Spurs... You know, you, you like what you see. You know, whether it's, it's enough, Ray, for this Spurs team to, to finish top four or even threaten top four, I, I still doubt it. But um, you have to be happy with what you've seen in, in two, difficult, two difficult games to start this season. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.